Hello. It's a very short weekend for me. So we are making a lot of building blocks this week. And, and this is another one. And one I have not done in a long time. But it's a winner. It really is a winner. And you can use it on veggies, beans, rice, potatoes, pretty much anything. And it is a dry seasoning. It's called unicorn dust. I did not make this recipe up. It came from a book called Potato Reset by Janine Elder. And uh, it's a good book. It has a lot of very good dry spice mixes in it. It also, honestly, I don't think I ever tried any of her like sauces or anything like that, but it really is a, it's a good book. If I can find it in Amazon, I will link it below just to give full credit where full credit is due so nutritional yeast yep we're starting with that it's going to lend a uh, kind of a cheesy flavor to this it's one quarter of a cup and it's a very simple recipe it's like three ingredients and then it takes one teaspoon when it as opposed to a toast. Just making it up as I go. No. Okay, so one teaspoon of onion powder, not, dehydra not dehydrated onion, onion powder. And that way it spreads farther and you don't have the little dehydrated chunks in it. No one likes a dehydrated chunk. And then, what really gives it its magic, a tablespoon of just granulated garlic. And it's not garlic salt. Do not get garlic salt, it is crap. Um, ingredients are just garlic. And honestly, I do store brand, Costco brand, or Badia on most of my spices, just the Hispanic or the um, generic brands, they are just as good. And then you just kind of mesh it around. And you could also add cayenne to it if you wanted to. I am trying to mimic a fries spice blend. And so I'm actually using this as a building block for it, which will be another video. But just your basic cheesy, garlicky, um, not store-bought, salt-free veggie mixture. Yep. I have also used this in homemade canned beans that I have made. And that's about it. That's probably about it. It would actually be good with just tofu as well, I think and um, just to make sort of a garlicky, cheesy um, sour cream for uh, air fried french fried potato dipping. So just a basic, but anyway, I love it. I probably came across it about eight to 10 years ago and still use it to this day. And yeah, it's one that Carly also wanted the recipe too after he tried it. See you guys.